I have with me today the Gen 8 V2 and nine and a half kilograms of trailer. And what we're testing today is 11 tires. Okay, so as well as the OEM tires, the um, 4.75 swampers on the Gen 8 V2, we have the Hustler 2.2 wheel, 5.5 inch uh, from Boom Racing, the Proline Hyrax Predator Compound 4.75, Proline BF Goodrich Crawlers also 4.75. We've got the Fake Hyrax wherever they are, the Rocks tire. We've got the Pitbull Growler uh, 4.75. We've got the Traxxas Canyon Trail 4.6. This is the General Grabber. X3 compound. This is a 4.6 tire. This is uh, the Element RC Sendero uh, OEM tire. The SCX103 Nitto Trail Grabber MT, also a 4.75 tire. Proline Super Swamper. This is a G8 compound, 4.75. And I've got its little brother, the 4.3. These are both G8 compound. They're the same tire. Where we are here is kind of a, um, it's a muddy clay kind of thing. It's peaty. It's um. If you dig in at all, it gets clay. It, there's clay underneath, but on top it's kind of loose. We're coming out of winter now, but everything's still a little damp. So what we're gonna do is gonna be the same truck every time, and it's gonna have 20 seconds to go from this start point, which is next to the branch, and it's gonna come around and up. Now it gets immediately steep there, and then it flattens out a bit, and then it gets quite steep, and, and there are some roots poking out. That's gonna be probably impossible. So this is a trail test for the tires. It's not a crawling test. But as part of my quest to find the best all-round rubber, they're going to get dirty as they go. So the uh, the tread's ability to clear itself is going to be important as well. So we'll get into it and we'll see how we go. First off is the stock tyres. Let's do it. 20 seconds. Time starts now. There's the 20 and we got, let's measure the back wheel. I think would be good. That's uh, four feet or 1.2 meters. Again, that's from the corner. So it's not the entire distance. Now remember this truck is with the two batteries I've got in there to outlast this test. They're big batteries, 3.9 kilos. I think it was, this is 9.5 kilos, the whole load. So it's, it's got its work cut out for it. I might do each test twice and I'll count the best time. Okay, this is the second attempt for the OEM tires. 20 seconds starts now. I'm trying low and high wheel speed. That's 20. That was 2950 mil. I'll now change the tires and I'll come back to you with the next set. To each run, I'll stick up a photo of what the tires look like just on the undercarriage of the vehicle so you can see how much dirt is in the treads, whether or not they cleared themselves very well. And I'll do the best distance they got from the two attempts. I've just realized it's actually quite fun watching these trucks dig up the dirt as we go. So I'm sorry that you had some time-lapse action. We've had um, three tires so far. We've got the OEMs, Traxxas Canyon Trails, and we've got the Nitto Grabblers. Grabbers? Grapplers? Grapplers, my goodness. There's, there are growlers, grabbers, grapplers, and it does my head in. So please forgive the inconsistency of my film approach here. I'm uh, working this out as we go. I'll set you down now. And we will get on with the Element tires. Always through the bog. I'm saying unlimited reverses here, that seems fair enough. And what are we on here? 15. Go, go, go! No. <laughs> Second round for the Element RC. Let's go. Oh yeah, that helps. Go, go, go! Yeah. 
now we come to the smallest tire in the test this is the proline super swamper tsl 4.3 and in this case i think size isn't going to matter as much because clearance isn't a problem here this is mostly about the uh, tread pattern and secondly about the uh, rubber compound i think but we'll see this is all indicative plus i'm doing the hard work and you get to watch so Hooray for that. Oh, leave me a like if this is useful, guys. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Okay. TSL Super Swampers 4.3s. Let's do it. Ooh, look at it go. that go. Hey I'm thinking of bringing some um, hydraulic stuff in here and getting a real work site going. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. Go Jenna, go! Oh he's over the crest, come on! <laughs> he really wants to. Come on little Jenna. What about slow speed? Let me try that. So we're done. Yeah, it's 20. These guys were starting to fill up too. All right, this is the Super Swamper from Proline G8 compound 4.75. First attempt. Oh, it's a shame. We still actually have time if we don't jackknife. And that's no, we're out of time. All right, first attempt went to uh, 1210. Now, there we go. Oh, what a shame! Come on. These treads are quite full as well, so if this was uh, wetter, I think the whole, the entirety of the treads would be uh, just muddy as. Right, what's next? All right, now these are the fake Hyrex, the uh, Super Swamper Rocks tire. They did the worst on my tire comparison, check it out if you haven't, but they've got gigantic lugs and I think they might actually do a bit better on this kind of test. So as a trailing tire, maybe they'll be all right. Got the foams right, yep. I've actually got nice foams in these. Nice wheels, nice foams. Cheap, nasty tire. I'll say it again if you missed it before, don't use a power drill for this. I've got 44 wheels to change in a short time here. It's the only time I've ever used it. It's the only reason I would use it. It's a really quick way to stuff your uh, axle threads or your wheel nut threads. You can fix it, but you don't want to have to do that. All right, and I'm also using a clutch. That's what the clicking is, so it doesn't over tighten. First of two with the fake Hyrax. Time starts now. Oh, it hooks up. Oh, look at this. I've got to chase it. The ground's getting more chewed up bit by bit. Right, time starts now. Oh, momentum. Nice. Well, as predicted, I suppose the uh, fake Hyrax did pretty well, the Chirax. Again, very hard, hard rubber compound. Now, that didn't clear well at all. Uh, and again, if this was wetter, they'd become slicks soon enough. But they do have a really aggressive sidewall. Again, they did the worst on my crawling course. 
but they might be well they've done the best so far now that was the fake hyrax this is the real hyrax same uh, tread slightly less aggressive on the edge remembering that the uh, the fake ones are a uh, they're like a lower resolution copy of the real thing uh, it's like they've made a mold from the real one and, and they've lost a bit of detail and there's a, a u-shape they're um they're just not as good they're not as well made but you get what you pay for in fact you get more than what you pay for because the design of these was stolen so i shouldn't i feel a bit bad even supporting this really this is that was the fake one this is the real hyrax they're a lot softer and more pliable decently good on the rocks time starts now oh that's not bad it's keeping momentum i better chase it I made an assumption that the real Hyraxes wouldn't do as well as the fake ones because they're a softer rubber. Look at this photo. This was of it getting the best of the day so far. Look at the deformation of the tire. What gives the Hyrax its secret source up on the rocks is what actually helps it on the trail here too. This is why testing, even though it's a boatload of work, it's really worthwhile because I assumed that the cheap Hyraxes, the Chyraxes would have uh, being one of the best because of those giant lugs but it's not just about tread tire compound still matters even on loose clay or um, peaty kind of dirt here anyway enough talk let's keep going time starts now go hyrax i'm going to chase it so i can see what's going on Right, time for the third last tie for the test. This is the Proline BF Goodrich Crawler 4.75. Time starts now. I'll chase it. Oh, that was better than pretty good. That was a new record. Hey, 61. So this is the beginning of a theory. Perhaps compound matters more than tread. That's interesting. Time starts now. Proline's in the lead. <laughs> the Crawler and the Hyrax are the two best. Now the fake Hyrax, the Chinese Chirax are the next ones and the Canyon Trails. All right, this is the Pitbull Growlers. First attempt, time starts now. Now. still quite deformed you know what's interesting about the growlers is that the uh, the rubber feels kind of hard when you touch it compared to uh, say the proline predator compound but it really does deform um, that's all twisted up on the on the wheels too they kind of massage back out they really uh, dug in. I, 
when I first saw it go in the first round, I was thinking, oh, it's not going to do so well. But um, then it pulled out 57.20 on the second go. Now, we've had some really small tyres. We've had plenty of 4.7 somethings. Let's try some 2.2 uh, .2 wheels and some 5.5s. See how they go. So this is the Gen 8 V2 on 2.2s. It does fit, but there is some scrubbing. And be aware if you stick 2.2s on your Gen 8 yourself, uh, the bigger the wheels, the, um, the greater the load and heat through your motor and through your um, transmission too, through your drivetrain. Anyway, let's get this onto the trailer, get our last of the tire tests done. Right, now this is an interesting one. This is the Boom Racing Hustlers on 2.2s, uh, and they're a 5.5 inch tire. First attempt begins now. Haha, <laughs> look at it go. Sixty-seven ninety. That's best of the day. And onto the second attempt. Dog, you're going to be in the way there, my pup. Hello. All right. These are the Hustlers five point five inch tires on two point two inch wheels. Time starts now. Go. <laughs> The Boom Racing Hustlers, 5.5 inch, took first and second place. But that's not surprising given bigger tires are going to roll over bumps more easily. This is the only tire that got beyond six meters on a 1.9 inch wheel. That's the Proline Be of Goodrich Crawler on Predator compound. There's the blue dot there, uh, 6.1 meters. It also took second place in the 1.9s as well as first with uh, 5.87 meters. Now remember the fake Hyrax, although they did alright in one of their attempts, they came last in my rock crawling tire attempt. So with the testing we've done so far, which is on the rocks and on the trail, can, remembering we haven't done wet or muddy crawling yet and we're gonna that's coming. I think the fake Hyrax are actually a poor choice, even though they're good for trailing. But the Proline Predator compound on either the Hyrax or the crawlers are a good choice. They perform very well. And the other thing that really was interesting to all the Traxxas vehicle owners was that canyon trails weren't far behind. 5.7 and 5.6 meters, uh, that's really impressive. Remember, these are OEM tires. Now, the other thing to note here is the uh, SCX-10 3 Nitto Trail Grapplers 4.7 and the Red Cat OEM Super Swampers both had a pretty poor showing. The Proline Super Swampers with G8 compound also did poorly, as did the Element RC grabbers although they did have oh in fact they were all fairly consistent they had one poor and one all right run overall the worst performing tire was the the actual oem nitto trail grappler mts the 4.7s they were the worst tire uh not far behind them at all was the uh 4.3 the smallest tires in the comparison which was the 4.3 super swampers now these are a g8 compound being small is a disadvantage because any undulation or bump in the road is relatively bigger. And when you compare the size of that, firstly to a 4.75, but especially 4.3 to 5.5, you see there's really no comparison. There's no way these can do better than something big like that unless these were slicks. Join me next time for the wet rock challenge. We're gonna run all these tires on the same vehicle in the wet and we'll see what wet and mud does to their rock crawling performance and then we'll have three good sets of data at the moment we've got the rock crawling set on dry rocks which you can watch up above me here and now we have the trail performance uh, stay tuned for more experiments because i really would like to see what's the best rubber all around what's the best rubber for wet and dry crawling and so on throw me a like if you enjoyed this subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming and thank you so much for hitting the trails with me today it was actually 
It was fun and it was quite interesting too. Until next time, this is RCTNT. I started saying this before, but then I got distracted. And <laughs> now I've forgotten what it was. No, can't remember. <laughs>